YouTube, how are you all doing today? Looking at a little uh, mod today. I'm gonna mod review. Haven't done one of those in a while. I figured I might as well do one. Um, it's Real Parachutes by Stupid Chris. He is currently a mod rigger of the KSP forums, and uh, he created this thinking we needed better parachutes. And I must say, I'm glad he did. <laughs> this is a really good mod, and uh, I can't show you guys. So this right here is just a little basic spacecraft. Not even a spacecraft, it's suborbital. <laughs> uh, but really what I want you guys to pay attention to is this nose coming up here. This is a combo of a drogue chute and a main parachute. Now, I have never used the combo before, so I'm kind of surprised. But, I'm going to go ahead and talk about some stuff anyway. The uh, drogue chute... Its main purpose is for any, you know, spacecraft, is to slow it down at high altitudes. It deploys at a high altitude and slows the craft down enough to where the main chute can deploy safely. Then the main parachute, of course, you know, takes over, takes the brunt of the force, and uh, slows the parachute, I mean, slows the craft down to a landing speed. And also this mod, though, adds a, uh, a drag chute. And if you guys have ever seen the Space Shuttle land, you'll know what a drag chute is. A drag chute basically just deploys when you're near the ground and will slow the, uh, the craft down and so it doesn't skid off the runway. Um, the Space Shuttle, because it comes in so fast, it needs, you know, a lot of runway, but it also needs a drag chute, not a drag chute, a, uh, a drag chute to help slow it down. Now we're just gonna go up here and you know right click on this and hit arm parachute. Uh, let's see. Okay, we kicked that a lot farther than what I thought we would, but <laughs> it's all right. Anyway, one thing about this mod though is that it's a massive change. Well, one is of course is the drag chute, which is you know just amazing in itself. Because uh, if you've ever tried to make a drag chute before in the game, you can't do it because uh, the parachutes will just disappear when you touch the ground because the game registers you know the craft has touched down on the ground it doesn't need parachutes anymore because it's not falling it's safe well that's true for you know like a single command pod or something but for a plane that's not always the case so it's really you know a real helpful thing to slow down to slow you down when you're coming in pretty fast um another big thing about this mod is parachutes used to deploy and they have a very, you know, uh, violent G-Force spike. I know the G-Forces don't mean anything in the stock game, but if you look down here beside the nav ball, whenever you deploy a parachute normally, that will spike up to about the max. With this mod, though, it will not spike. It will stay relatively in a safe level. And also, it won't, you know, rip your craft apart depending on how it's built. You don't have to have 100 struts connected to the parachute to keep it all together anymore. <laughs> yeah, I've had a couple mishaps with that myself before. But anyway, the drogue chute here is deployed. And uh, you can tell it's a drogue chute because the drogue chutes are textured just plain white. And that right there is just going to slow us down in the upper atmosphere so that it's okay for the main chute to deploy safely. Um, I have a modded version of my game and I have Dead to Reentry installed. And uh, this mod comes in real handy because it slows the craft down in the high altitude so that it doesn't burn up on the reentry. Works very well. And as you guys can see, our speed is really dropping, which is great. The main chute should be coming out here pretty soon. Like I said, I've never used the, uh, the combos before until right now when I recorded this. But we'll see how it works. <laughs> It'll be a learning experience for all of us. <laughs> and I'm sure stupid Chris is going to watch this and think, oh, why is he doing this? <laughs> um, but the uh, drag shoots, actually all the shoots come in uh, radial form, a probe-sized cone, a probe-sized stack, and 1.25 meter uh, stack and cone. The drogue shoots, I mean, uh, the drogue shoots, but the uh, combos only come in one size. And there comes out the main shoot. Going to save our trio. 
But uh, anyway, the the combo she's only come in the 1.25 meter size, which I'm not really sure why, but I think that's it's all right. Also, if you guys notice the way these parachutes are deploying, I love it. It's like Apollo style. I mean, I'm just you know visualizing Apollo 13. You guys ever seen that movie? <laughs> right now, coming down, you know. But as you guys can see, this thing has a uh, great drag uh, amount, just because we're only going 12.9 meters per second with all this weight, which is great. If it was just a command pod, it would uh, probably be around, I'm guessing, 6. Anyway, we're safely down on the ground, you know, well, down in the water. Let's go back here, revert flight, uh, let's go to the space center. Because now I'm going to demonstrate the uh, drag chutes. We have a little uh, plane here, and just you know your basic plane. It's got wings, it's got an engine, got an intake. It's all it needs, and landing gear of course. But the biggest thing is this little green piece on the back. Now that right there is a 1.25 meter stack drag chute, and uh, basically this right here will deploy once you are near the ground, and will slow you down. But it won't you know tip your aircraft upside down stuff. Well, pointing downwards. Um, basically, the space shuttle uses uh, drag chutes when it's landing on the runway because it's still going really fast. The gear shoot, the gear uh, brakes aren't really enough to bring it to a stop before the end of the runway, and it needs this needs the drag chutes to uh, help slow it down, and keep it on the runway. Um, if any of you have ever tried to make a plane or a uh, shuttle. With a drag chute in KSP using stock parachutes, chances are it didn't work. And that's because um, KSP, once it reads that the uh, you know the plane in this case is on the ground, it says, oh, it doesn't need parachutes. So it cuts the parachutes. In reality though, in some cases like this, you will want the parachutes. And we're just going to go ahead and demonstrate the uh, basically the use for these parachutes. So let's say this right here is a space plane, and we just came back from, I don't know, uh, EVE. You know, exciting mission. We landed, we even came back. So now, we're coming way too fast. 150 meters per second. That's, whoa, that's, you know, breakneck speed. We're going to go ahead and right click on this, hit arm, and now just do a regular descent. As you guys can see, we're only at 300 meters, and it still hasn't deployed yet. That's a good thing. That's how you want it to be. Because now it deploys. Go ahead and start dropping your throttle a little bit. Not too much, because you want to keep control over the craft. And I dropped it too much, and therefore we're going to nose dive. But, okay, like I said, I, I may have dropped the throttle a wee bit too much. But once the uh, craft over there, the wreckage of it, came to a stop, then the chutes vanished. Not when it touched the ground. And uh, that right there is the biggest thing about the drag chutes. It'll really slow your plane down, you know, whatever it is, it'll slow it down when it touches the ground and won't just disappear. That can be really useful. And uh, if you're trying to make a reusable space plane without having to reload the craft, that right there is what you need. I mean, to make sure, you know, you get down safely. Just watch your speed because, right, like I just did, I slowed the speed down too much and I ended up nose diving into the dirt. But hey, you know, it, it still worked. I mean, it slowed the rest of the wreckage down. <laughs> um, that's really it for this video. I mean, you've got your, uh, in the utility tab, we've got a drag chute, which is a probe size stack. You got a main and a drogue, same way, uh, probe size stack, probe sized cone for all of them, radial, uh, packages for all three types. Then you got your 1.25 meter stack, 1.25 meter cone, uh, your probe sized uh, combo pack, and that is probe size. Okay wait, yeah you got probe size and a probe size and a 1.25 meter stack and cone combo. Um, the combo is actually really useful if you're you know if you need all the space you can get but you also need a drogue chute and you need a, uh, a main chute which pretty well all craft need a main chute but 
Um, it works really well that way. It slows you down the high altitude, and then eventually your main chute will deploy and land you. Um, anyway, that's really it for this video. Uh, I'll post a link in the description to the form thread. If you guys like this model, do you want more of them? Just you know, give it a like. I'll be looking out for that. Thank you guys. I'll see y'all next time.